Craving a tender, juicy, perfectly prepared steak dinner? Go get your grill on, because today we're gonna show you how to make grilled ribeye steaks perfect every time. This is one of those recipes that just gets better and better every time you make it. You're gonna hone your skills, plus you're gonna learn our three essential tips for success and bonus round, I'm gonna show you what I do to ribeye steaks to make them even more delicious. Let's start with step number one. This grilling recipe is all about a preferred cut of beef ribeye steaks. We're suggesting thick 10 ounce steaks and you're asking your butcher for substantial marbling. What's up with that first tip? Bring your steak to room temperature about an hour before you intend to grill. This is going to ensure those steaks cook evenly. Getting the steaks ready for the grill is super simple. Rub them with just a bit of extra virgin olive oil, then sprinkle them with kosher salt and black pepper. But the pepper, you gotta trust me on this, I am asking for you to hand chop the peppercorns. Let me show you. The way they crack and split and you're going to come away with pronounced chunks of cracked black pepper that will flavor your steaks perfectly. Don't forget, season both sides for best results. Steaks are ready to go. Our second tip is about the grill itself. You want a hot grill. So we're gonna preheat it about 15 minutes before the steaks go on. Our temperature, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. There's one other thing we want you to do before you bring the steaks over. Grab a platter, a pair of tongs, and a run of foil. I'd like you to gather those three things, bring them to the side of the grill. I'll be back to talk about them shortly. So now, grill's at temperature, the steaks are good to go. You've got your three things for post barbecue at the ready. I just wanna say, general rule, do not dilly-dally. We're gonna move pretty quick now, lifting lids, turning steaks, so be at the ready. Steaks go on the hot grill, love that sizzle, lid goes down. You're grilling for exactly one minute per side. Give them a flip. At the two minute mark though, same thing, but for this flip, we're gonna rotate the steaks 90 degrees. Gorgeous. Final flip, no rotation. We're grilling for one additional minute. Your total time on these steaks, four minutes. Don't be surprised if family, friends, weekend guests like their steaks done more or less than you. I like my steaks medium rare, so I stick a thermometer into them. When they reach 135, my steaks are perfectly prepared. Uh, but if you don't know, I'm gonna provide you with a little doneness guide below this video. Let's talk about our third key thing to keep in mind. It's when you take cover. Remember the foil and platter? Our steaks are going onto that platter and we're immediately covering it with tin foil, nice and tight. We're gonna let those steaks rest for five minutes. I can't say enough about the importance of this step. Giving steaks a chance to rest is key. When they're on the grill, all that hot temperature causes the juices to go up to the surface, but giving them that chance to rest, the juices go back into the meat. We're talking moist and flavorful. But there's another thing, that five minutes also gives you time to do finishing touches on sides to go with, whether it is sauteed asparagus, how about a freshly tossed salad, or how about our fully loaded baked potatoes. Okay, now remember how I told you I'd share my favorite <laughs> For these ribeyes, I roast up a whole bulb of garlic, then squeeze it into a bowl of butter. I add salt, some of that cracked black pepper, and freshly chopped thyme. This creates a rustic compound butter that then gets spooned onto each steak right before you serve. The butter then melts. Let me just assure you one more time, this really is the best way to prepare and enjoy ribeye steaks. You can do this. I'm gonna put up the full recipe at weekendatthecottage.com along with the recipe for the compound butter and my favorite sides. A reminder to please subscribe to this YouTube channel, drop us comments, thumbs up, and click that bell button for notifications. And then finally, we'd love to see your gorgeous ribeye steaks when you make them. Simply post them to your favorite socials using hashtag weekend at the cottage when you do. Oh, look at this. Moist, juicy, tender, and yeah, medium rare, just like I wanted. Grilled ribeye steaks. Mmm, mmm, raring to go. Enjoy.
I'm gonna eat this whole steak. I'm actually gonna eat this whole steak right now. Mmm, beauty. 